Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Nude Endless Trails. Today we're going to go through the Shaded Animal Trail uh, in summertime. We're not going to do these two quite yet, we'll do them later, but as you can see, because this was a temple and this was just the boss, these two don't change. You can look that I've already completed the mission, gotten the crystals, gotten the stars, everything else for both of these areas. But these ones are all blanked out, so you have to redo these ones in the new season. Um, we're not going to do that today, we'll do that next time, because I want to finish up this quest, as well as that uh, other hidden quest that I alluded to last time. Um, yeah, your head is chopped off. Uh, dazzling is an understatement. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the emulator, but it's only during this little cutscene that it kind of goes wonky there. So, uh, <laughs> uh, just please forgive that. Anyway, um, the enemies are much harder in here. You saw the level requirement is uh, a bit higher uh, this time around. I think it's at like four or five. Um, anyway, you want uh, the mission in here is to get your chain bonus up to 30 which could be pretty difficult, because um, every time that you get hit, or if you wait too long between strokes, um, the chain counter resets. So, if I don't get the uh, the chain counter up to 30 by the end of the episode, I'll just cut until I do. I'll just do it off screen. But it looks like I might get it! Sweet! Okay, I got a 30 chain. Awesome! Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Awesome. So we'll go down here. And, uh, let's see. We're gonna start with some new monsters. Um, you can't really see them down here. Uh, but you really want to deal with them using magic. They're kind of mosquitoes, and they can kind of fade, uh, in and out between being a mass of mosquitoes and being a bug. So the best way to deal with them is just blast them with some magic. But they don't really materialize, um, until you kind of go far away from them. There it is. Okay, I got it. Okay, there we go. So, go over these spikes, go over this way. Uh, let me just double check that the 30 actually counted. Um, yeah, at least chain 30, 30 out of 30. Perfect! Oh, but my mission wasn't checked. Aww. I wonder if I need to get, like, 31 if it's gonna do that crap on me. Uh, that would really get on my last nerve if it, if it pulled that. But I'll probably get up to 31 just in case. But first things first, we want to head over here. There we go. Kill these guys. I'm getting that chain bonus up again. Come on, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Sweet. Okay, yeah, I got up to 34. That's definitely enough. Awesome. So I don't have to worry about that now. Come over here, and we get some treasure. Hey, you get an anklet. Awesome. Let's check that out, see what we got going on here. It's an accessory for Noi. It resists Paralyze. Okay. I haven't seen any status effects in this game, actually, let alone Paralyze, so I'm sure that that's coming up shortly. Hopefully it's not as annoying as Poison was in Ease 4. Yeah, whoever um, thought up the Poison status ailment in an Ease game should be shot. That was horrible. Thank God they only used it in number 4 and they never used it again. Okay, perfect! Come up here, and now you can see the mosquitoes a little bit better up here. Um, you can see what I'm talking about, how they go into like a mass of mosquitoes and they kind of materialize into a bug. Okay, awesome. And we want to head over this way first, because there's a hidden plant. Yeah, nice! Get a gem tomato, and move and groove right along. If anybody knows how to fix this lighting effects on the PSP emulator, Please let me know in the comments, because it's kind of getting on my last damn nerve. Um, the problem is, I don't want to mess around with graphics too much, because if I do that, then I get screen flickering like I did in the first uh, Let's Play of Popo La Croix. That was the first thing that I did with the PSP. So, uh, hopefully there's something that I can do to fix that flash without having to deal with um, any kind of uh, screen flickering either. So, here is our 100 Year Peach and the massive screen flash, but, yeah. Um, can I get it? There we go. Awesome! Uh, I certainly did. Yeah, you were there, and I asked you about it. Okay? Yeah. I am a pretty capable guy, I've gotta say. Okay? Yes, yeah, so now that I've gotten that fruit, we need to go deliver it to Ada. I wanna kill you. 
Let me make sure that I've got- that should be all three crystals. Yeah, I got all three crystals, I got the mission, I got the treasure. Awesome. So let's move on out. Yeah, the, the basic map is pretty much the same. There's some additions here and there, like the little underground cave and all that. But for the most part, everything's the same. Um, just various different treasures, different um, crystal locations, different enemies, that sort of thing. So I got enough stars so I can go see uh, the master again. Nice! So let's head on back to Remnant Isle. And uh, let's see, we want to head back to Ada. Let her know that we can have this fruit for her. Oh, wrong one. No, you need to hit her. You need to talk to her with the square. I always forget about that. Hey, Nayuda, I wonder if you found that fruit that's good for soaking sake. Yeah, I brought it. Hey, this is a peach? I've never seen before, though. It's a rare peach that grows on a certain uninhabited island. It's said that you can get eternal youth from it, and it's amazingly delicious. Hey, so there's a peach like that. You found something that looks pretty interesting. That's good. So the job's completed, then. Yeah, good work. With something like this, even your sister would be satisfied. This is my thanks to you. Take good care of it. Ooh, wow, 600 gold. Awesome. All right, gotta try putting this peach in the sake immediately. When it's done, I'll give you some, so please look forward to it. No, I'm a miner. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> my sister can probably use it in her sweets. That'll be about a year till it's ready. Can't wait. It's because she's happy she's so, it's so fine. Okay, awesome. I'm not saying that he's a loser because he's not, like, drinking underage. I just think that, you know, this is a fantasy world. He's on a pretty much uninhabited island. And he was the one who got everything. Like, just have a sip. No one's saying to go out and get drunk or anything. Just, you know, have a glass of sake. It's not going to kill you. And talk to this guy. Now then, I have to put today's schedule together. Uh, but there's something troubling. I can't keep everyone waiting too long. Dr. Heidel, what happened? Oh, if it isn't Ayuda. Well, I was just about to make plans for today's doctor's rounds, but I still need to sort out my patient charts. But having said that, I can't keep my patients waiting. I'm confused now. As expected, if I prepare more, I may need to return. Oh, you seem busy too, doctor. On this island, there are no churches that dispense medicine, and everyone thanks their doctor. They must be embarrassed to say it face to face. It won't do like this. The truth is, I have one thing to do after my doctor's rounds that must be finished by the end of the day. Nayuda, I've been staying in this room for a while, so if anything happens, don't hold back and come tell me. Today seems especially busy. It might be good to help as the handyman shop here. Yeah, totally. Uh, Dr. Heidel, if you'd like, I'll help. If it's something that I can do, of course. Really? Then you're a big help. Your handyman shop has supported me many times, and you're as reliable as ever. Anyhow, that's welcome news. Quickly, the first thing, will you take it? Yeah, leave it to me. Good. Like this, I can personally experience the restart of the Handyman Shop. You've grown, Nayuda. Uh, I can't do this. I'll explain the contents of the work. What I want you to do today is call the people that I need to examine. Although I'm asking this of you, it's not a difficult thing. Last time, things were there were many people I should have seen that I didn't have time to. Please bring those people here later and I'll see them. If that's all, then that's an easy thing to do. I'll leave that to you. Here are the next people that I need to examine. Janice from the Elder's House, Fisherman Karina, and Farmer's Son Booty. When you're through calling on them, please report to me. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll get going then. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So, first things first is uh, Miss Janice. She's um, the really large woman who lives in the Elder's House. I don't think that she's the um, Elder's Wife. Because, you know, we would probably say, you know, Elder's Wife. That would be her title. I think that she's like a caretaker of some sort. Oh, wrong one again. I need to use the square button. Well, Nayuda, do you need something from me, I wonder? Oh, so it's Dr. Heidel. Thank you for telling me. Does your body hurt anywhere? No, I'm the picture of health, but this is as far as the conversation can go. I can represent my husband. The eldest representative? Because of his chronic lower back pain, he takes medicine at regular intervals, but when everyone sees this, they think that it's uncool and put on a strange air or something. Except during medical exams, I've been taking medicine in his place. Is that so? Mrs. Candace must be in trouble too. I guess I'm used to it. Anyway, thanks for telling me. I'll make sure he does in the future. So basically you're stealing your husband's medicine? If I read that correctly, that's pretty much what she said. 
she thinks that people think it's uncool for her elder husband to take medicine, so she takes it instead. That's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Uh, what's wrong, Nayuda? Uh, didn't Booty return? Yeah, he just went out. Though I think that he'll return before long. What do you need with him? I uh, see. Okay. Oh, is that so? Then if he returns, I'll contact you. How about going ahead to where the other people are? Uh, can't be helped. I'll do that. Okay, well, Booty isn't there yet. So, um, let's go down and talk to, uh, let's see. It was the fisherman that he needed to see. So, I don't know where the fisherman is, but I know his wife is in here with his bald child sitting outside, so talk to her. That's Nayuda. Wonder what's wrong. Well, the doctor has come, hasn't he? Thank you for telling me. That's right. He simply wanted to come look at me now that I've given birth to Kali. Oh, could it be that the doctor cared for you while you were giving birth? Yeah, that's right. He gave me various advice starting from when Kali was still inside of me. From the exams, I understood that the child would be difficult to, live, to deliver. The doctor prepared quickly, contacting a large clinic. Thanks to that, I was able to give birth easily. Wow, is that so? Huh. Janice, who was planning to be the midwife, had just a little regret, though. After childbirth, he had been examining me at fixed intervals. I see, as expected from the doctor. Then, will you tell the doctor that I'll stop by later? Yeah, understood. Now then, only Booty's left. Maybe he's returned home soon. I'll try going there. Okay, well, hopefully he did. Yeah, why not? We'll give it a shot. I don't think that he's returned, but... Yeah, we can always try. Does she have two kids on her back? Holy crap. Oh, he still hasn't returned. Hmm. Yeah, he is late coming home. Oh, he's hiding. Oh. So he doesn't like doctors. Well, I guess he doesn't like medicine. So where could he be hiding? Huh. Sasha of the general store may know. Okay. Oh, maybe. Yeah. He might be helping her out, so let's head on over there. See if she knows anything. I kind of doubt it, but, well, we'll give it a try. Well, what's wrong, Nayuda? Sasha, there's something that I want you to hear. I wonder if you know where Booty is. Um, if I don't know? According to Kanye, there's a high likelihood that he's here. Talk to her again. Is there something else that you want to ask me? You see, Sasha, do you really not know where Booty is? I just told you, didn't I? I'm sorry, but I don't know. Huh, an immediate reply, huh? Do you really, really not know where he is? Well, you're pretty distrustful. Obstinate boys are no good. She's obviously suspicious. And fourth time's a charm. What is it? I'm searching for Booty for a request from Dr. Heidel. I've got to call Booty for a medical, for a medical exam. <laughs> he has a booty call. Oh my god. <laughs> a medical exam? Not hide and seek? Hey, Booty. He said it was... Uh, you can't say it. Yeah. Booty, you're being called. Let's go. He's hiding under the counter. Oh man, you found me. I'm sorry, Nayuda. He asked me for help with this hide and seek game. My goodness, Booty. You shouldn't tell lies. This is Dr. Heidel's exam. You've got to take it properly, okay? I'm sorry. I think Sasha goes along with things too easily, but... Anyway, I get it. I should go later to the doctor for an exam, right? Yeah, I'm depressed. I wonder if I'll have to take that bitter medicine again. Nah, it should be alright. He said that it was to check on your progress, and so shouldn't that be fine? Really? Well, that's great, Booty. If it's a lie, Nayuda, I'll make you eat a porcupine fish. Yeah, that's enough. For now, I've called on everybody. I should report to the doctor. Ah, it seems that you were able to call on everyone. Good work, Nada. Thanks to you, I'm saved. As thanks, will you accept this? This interesting item was excavated from the ruins, and it said to my friend who gave it to me. It seems that you know its value. Ooh, nice! We'll have to drop that off at the museum. That's some kind of strange model. Are you really giving this to me? What? It's just a small token of my feelings. Please don't hold back and accept it. Well, I'll take advantage of your kind offer. By the way, Nayuda, it seems that you've returned to the island after a while. Has your home changed? It seems you've become close with your sister, too. Yeah, nothing surprising has happened. My sister's work's doing well, and her sheep are well, too. Somehow, the fact that I've been away for four months seems like a lie. Is that so? Well, anyway, you help with my work, and I'm saved. Truly, thank you. If your body's feeling bad, please come here any time. 
as I plan on staying here a little while longer. I'll examine them immediately. I'll look forward to working with you at that time. But hey, we finished up that quest. So, uh, next time on Let's Play Nayuta Endless Trails, we will go and finish exploring the forest continent during the summertime. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.